Hey yo, what's up everyone? We are here back with another turning Minecraft into Rare. Yo, we got ourselves another resource pack here. And you know, somebody tweeted this to me. I'll have their tweet on the screen. Shout out to them. They tweeted this to me and I saw it and I'm like, yo, how come I haven't heard of this? Well, I feel like I've seen it, but maybe I didn't get it to work at the time. I don't know, something like that. Because there were a couple of texture packs that I had problem getting to work when I made the original video. But yeah, we're back. As we can see, it looks beautiful. Now there is supposed to be Terraria music playing. I turned it off and we're going to be playing my own music because the Terraria music was loud as hell for for some reason but listen you hear that I don't, I don't know it might be a little quiet for you guys let me let me turn it up you hear that you got that you got the beautiful terraria menu noises but yeah let's hop into the single player world here and uh i'm using version 1.14.4 i'm pretty sure you can use it for 1.15 and 1.16 if there is optifine out for the snapshots of 1.16 you do need optifine to see a majority of the cool things in this resource pack but yeah i'd like to note that this resource pack is not finished yet there's still a lot more going to be added so there will be things here and there that are missing but look at this hopping straight into the world these trees are beautiful right off rip i'm gonna say that and look at this nice little rocks on the floor here i don't know what's going on over there i could see i could see a, a dungeon or I can see a ravine or something down there. Damn, those birds are loud. But yeah, first glance, this resource pack is definitely up there with the also tri terraria resource pack, which was an amazing texture pack, uh, resource pack, whatever you want to call it. Are these apples? I don't know. I can't hit them. Oh, listen to that. Oh my, that's beautiful. That's a very beautiful noise. Dude, what about the leaves? Okay, they make like the, the grass breaking noise in terraria. What about the dirt? Okay, so we, we can tell that there's definitely some attention to detail here because I believe this resource pack is trying to go like all 100 yards and then some in terms of creating a very super accurate version of Terraria in Minecraft. But yeah, you got these little extra things like I'm pretty sure Optifine is the reason why we have a lot of little extra things like this. And, uh, you know, I see the hollow biome over here. Let's check it out. You know, look at the what is that called sky box. Oh, my God. That's probably one of my favorite things about this resource pack. Just at first glance is that you can see all of that. That's so dope it adds so much like depth that alone just adds a lot more to the game you know if the world feels a lot bigger than it actually is well it's minecraft it's like the, the worlds of minecraft are gigantic infinite but yeah look at the hollow you know we got the, the the trees in the hollow are the trees in the hollow like this i'm pretty sure they're like a whole tree is not a rainbow tree i think they're just really vivid colors like this but look at that oh when i when i try to pick block the leaf it gave me a uh, pearl leaf, pearl wood leaf wand. We, we got a big video. We got a long video here, probably. We're going to go over a bunch of the items. Um, Like I said, not 100% done yet. I don't know if the creator will be changing the mobs or not, like the other resource pack we saw. But, uh, you know, some of the mobs just don't straight up have any Terraria models yet because the resource pack ain't done. But yeah, for what it is right now, it looks beautiful. Hello? Do you know how low the audio is and the fact that I can hear a zombie above ground? He's got to be right here, right? aha look at that oh little baby ew you're ugly and bald but yeah let's uh let's just hello? let's just look around the world a little bit more here before we go ahead and hop into looking at all the items uh we got some sand right here beautiful and very dark yellow oh is that strange plants over here that, don't don't get distracted by that this is uh it's beautiful in a certain way in a sort of destructive way it's beautiful uh we got us oh is that a demon altar what what the heck that's amazing when you pick up a block and it tells you check your recipe what but look at this I, i'm pretty sure this is a demon altar oh i broke it i didn't have a pwn hammer we got a little bit of snow here i want to i want to see some like legit biomes i don't i don't want to see these tinier biomes is that another uh altar yeah this is another altar it's the crimson variant though but yeah let, let me go ahead and try and locate a bunch of other biomes and stuff and we'll start with that before we hop into you know the mobs and all the other blocks and items so i don't know how possible it is to you know make the backdrop over there different for each biome but right now since i'm in a desert it's still like a forest backdrop it's all good it's all good but in the future if it is possible i'd like to see you know the backdrop change depending on what biome you're in but yeah i teleport out here to the little temple here as we can see some of the blocks are, are still minecraft blocks and not terraria themed ones but uh we are in a desert which is also next to a corrupt desert look the cactus is beautiful and then this is also next to a crimson biome so we got corruption desert and crimson all in one that makes my life easier i don't have to look around that much for them and is that is that ice what is that there's something going on over there but uh look at this is crimson very red just like the crimson usually is and what is this i don't know this is newer minecraft this is 1.14.4 minecraft like if you guys don't know i say it all the time but like i usually play 1.7 i just started playing 1.12 recently but i usually stuck with the the 1.7 area 
video of Minecraft because it had the best mods. But yeah, this is dope though. I like this. You got the little polar bear <laughs> stranded out here. You are probably in the worst scenario possible. There's a there's deserts on both like every side of you, and you chose to spawn and live right here. I mean, I guess you didn't really choose, but Minecraft chose for him. I, I'm sorry. I, I hope you live. We are out here in a snow biome. Uh, sorry if the previous clips my voice was loud at all. I don't know. I was doing audio testing before this, and it sounded perfectly fine. But then I just watched it back, and it sounded a little loud. Yeah, how do we get down here? We we break something? The carpets? I don't know. I, I've barely seen igloos before. I know you get down here somehow though. How the hell do you get down here? Is under is under the redstone torch? I'm making myself look like a fool right now. I hear the zombie. I just don't see the zombie. Wait there it is wait what maybe all igloos don't have zombies underneath i don't know like i said haven't played these newer versions of minecraft but what's up female zombie sexy question mark yeah let's check out the rest of the snow biome looks cool looks cool we see some crimson are these ice spikes out here crimson ice spikes that'd be pretty cool nice uh difference in the colors out here but yeah there's that on to the next biome and we are out here in the jungle biome this place probably looks the coolest overall it just looks dope everything about it just looks dope all the textures the trees the back background complimenting the trees i would if the background you know was the actual jungle background this place would probably be the coolest place but yeah this is by far my favorite biome with this uh resource pack on texture pack on whatever and uh there's a cat in a tree how you doing on to the next biome which there's probably a lot of biomes we haven't seen but uh the, the last thing that i want to see besides the end in the nether is i want to see an ocean room oh i guess yeah we, oh there's a lot of things we can actually see i, I didn't know there's this many things swamp hut all right let, let's let's check out a swamp then all right we have entered the swamp dang it gets dark here in the swamp no there is no swamps in terraria or like full-on swamp biomes there's a couple mods add in swamps but yeah there's this oh little black cat coming out of the hut we got the witch coming out of the hut is this boreal wood this looks dope but yeah this is what it looks like we got a lot of corruption and crimson nearby us and the last main thing we're gonna check out here is an ocean monument which honestly doesn't look that different are these terraria textures they're lime kelps interesting i they honestly don't look like no nah, I, I guess they do i think the minecraft textures are a lot bigger but yeah this is what it looks like i don't know what i expected from this i bet all these blocks are gonna be different it's all good it's all good but yeah let's move on to the end and the nether now look at this beautiful loading screen that's amazing oh made the little the little teleporting noise and look at that we are in the nether is this out of Adamantite? This is adamantite, isn't it? What, what, what is this actually, though? I would assume, like, you know, for like 1.15, this would be like titanium, or netherite would be like titanium, or some stuff like that. Or not netherite, you know, whatever the block is for netherite. We're here. Looks dope. Exactly what I expected. The ash blocks everywhere. Uh, this gas. Very interesting spawn for a gas. My boy just chilling. Look at him. We got the glowstone, which is meteorite. Okay, okay, I see him. Oh, okay, the adamantite is quartz makes more sense now you see how like the blocks connect to that's dope see how like when it's like this you know you can see all the edges and stuff perfectly fine but look at this when it's like connected to ash blocks it actually like connects around to them that's amazing yeah we're down here hellstone i'm assuming is magma we got us a nether fortress here what a, is this flesh blocks what blocks would these be in the game though i don't know what, what would these flesh blocks be but yeah up here we got us the uh, nether fortress here beautiful uh, made out of the uh, obsidian blocks or bricks that you would find in terraria but yeah there's another let's head to the end now after countless minutes looking for the end portal ooh, almost fell i found it we're here we see all the endermen which are chaos elementals beautiful do you think they drop a discord rod i think they would drop a different type of rod but i'm not looking for that one yeah we're here let's see what the ender dragon looks like okay so he looks like the ender dragon i'm assuming in the future he'll probably be betsy or he'll be the wyvern probably the wyvern would be better a better fit because you know the wyvern is actually a terraria monster but yeah we got the, the end portal frame or whatever this is this is bedrock this is what bedrock looks like hardened ash block okay yeah i guess that's it uh let's check out the end city i don't know if that'll look different or not all right here is the end city what block is this this is end stone rain cloud interesting so are these just clouds oh okay i was wondering what block this was this was that's pretty cool okay i like that i can get down with that but yeah other than that these places look the same but yeah on to all the mobs items and blocks or at least a majority of them Let, let's let's start with the mobs okay let's do some mobs here in the end uh i'm gonna try and grab mobs that we haven't seen i feel like a good bit of these we've seen and uh, i have no idea which ones will actually have textures or not um chickens oh look at that <laughs> the chickens are all the birds and the ducks and stuff that's pretty cool. They're pretty damn loud. That's not. That's the part that isn't cool. Uh, the mushroom. He's got the blue mushrooms on him. We know the zombies got a bunch of different textures. Sorry if they're loud. 
I don't know why the mobs are so loud. I have the volume turned on a lot for the mobs and stuff. We're here with some pigs. These guys look like they got updated textures. Uh, they, ju they just look like pigs. They don't look like... They're not trying to do what the uh, also tried Terraria resource pack did, where they try to just fill up all the mobs with potential mobs from Terraria. But it's all good. They still look good. Once they add them all in, they're going to look good too. But yeah, let's start just by going down the blocks here. If I see anything interesting, you know, I'll take it out and look at it in more detail. But as we can see, they're using the... Um, the actual blocks themselves in terraria at least for a good majority of them and then when you actually place them you know they're obviously the full 3d block but that is very cool the glass looks beautiful we got the ice rod here which i'm assuming is just ice that's pretty cool uh, obviously we got all these wands here for all the leaves and stuff but yeah other than that you know you just got your blocks here bone wand i'm assuming this is for the uh bone blocks obviously other than that you know everything everything's either fairly the same or you know what you'd expect it to be i guess we could check out bookshelf here this is straight up a whole bookshelf texture look at this what the heck oh these are kind of clean though these are kind of clean they got the nice model here looks like there's a water bowl in like all of these you know that's some good money right there you, you sell that to the merchant or something you're gonna get a couple of gold pieces next up decorations now this is where i think the things get crazy this is where they get crazy okay my bad i said these are leaves these are actually planks and stuff these are the leaf ones yeah things should get very very cool here we got a lot of cool looking flowers uh saplings up here and then we got stuff like this we gotta see the chest look at that boom makes a little inventory noise double chest that looks kind of weird but you know what did you expect there's no double chest in terraria from what i know workbench uh now this this is pretty cool i don't know what's up with the texture at the bottom there why it's like cobble or stone but you know ooh, nice beautiful the furnace oh okay interesting that it's actually a regular minecraft furnace right here we got our ropes which uh just like you know the previous resource packs we checked out at least a couple of them the uh ropes are just ladders and it's really cool probably my favorite thing here these like ladder ropes because they fit so perfectly like the idea fits in so well we got wooden beam which i'm assuming this is a fence let me see here okay it is a fence whoa what the heck i might have to change locations i don't know where that zombie is but he's being loud but look at that interesting the thing is the other fences don't have textures yet so that's the only stuff with the textures we got infected ebon stone which i'm assuming this is silverfish blocks all of these we got a safe right here boom i don't know what this is this is an ender chest oh okay uh we got a crystal ball also don't know what this is oh it's an enchantment table okay so what if i were to you know do the little enchantment table right next to the books oh it's just the, just the regular you know minecraft enchanting language going into it but we got vines here what are these are these kelp blocks oh it's scaffold isn't it or bamboo scaffolding whatever that's what i think that is but other than that that's pretty much it i see a couple things here and there like this uh paintings the wall decor you got these oh these are actually these are pretty cool i like those but other than that pretty much everything is the same or just you know not textured yet uh we do have this we got bowls which I have no idea what this is. And then we got item frames, which are, you know, pretty much the item frames in Minecraft too. Next up, wiring. You do exactly what you'd expect for most of these. You know, lock chess explosives, which is TNT, obviously. Let me see what this block looks like at least. Okay, not bad. It's very cool looking. Uh, other than that, pretty much everything else is the same. Next up, we got transportation here. Most of the stuff, like I said, is stuff you would expect it to look like. Now, the minecart tracks actually look really cool. They got a nice, instead of like a flat Minecraft model, you know, they got that nice 3D model. It's, it's weird how these blocks from a 2D game look cooler than some of the blocks from a 3D game, aka Minecraft. <laughs> next up the other section i don't even know what's in here when i was trying to find uh isa ender for the ender portal frame i had troubles because they were their souls of flight and i had no idea i had to kill an enderman to figure it out but yeah other than that things look how you expect them neptune shell no idea what that is i'm assuming that's for the heart of the sea oh is this the uh the nautilus next up consumables i feel like a majority of consumables from like these terraria resource packs usually are the same uh we got a zombie arm for the flesh though very interesting lens you can eat a lens we got the tools here now that the tools here most of them don't look like anything crazy we got you know custom textures for some of them you know we got the obvious copper pickaxe so we got to have the copper pickaxe for the uh wooden tools but everything else it looks same we got a sickle here which are the shears i don't know what this is what is this is it a lead maybe it's a lead hold on let me let me see here get a cow it is a lead oh okay okay and then we have the weapons and armor i like how the armor is familiar armor for uh leather so like your your fit doesn't even change at all that's pretty cool and then of course you know iron broadsword copper short sword you know the usual here no i'm interested once this resource pack gets updated a lot more i'm very interested to come back
back and see it you know do a little before and after but look at this right here this part i feel like is where a lot of detail went in because look at it look at this this is awesome we got these grenades which are I believe just throwing potions which is amazing i like the idea of that to have a bunch of like sort of elemental grenades with like different effects and stuff yeah very good idea there but yeah other than that i honestly i think that's it that really is it and i can't wait until the future where we see a beautiful before and after of this mod pack or of this resource pack because this one honestly i really do like the also try to resource pack but this one i feel like it's going a little above and extra by using optifine and you know doing all the stuff you can with optifine but i like both of them a lot and i'm excited to see where this one goes in the future but yeah make sure to check out this resource pack the link for all that will be in the description and everything but uh, yeah like i said hope you guys enjoyed thank you for hitting 200k subs we should be there now by the time this video uploads i think and uh, i got i got a kind of 200k special coming it's just gonna be like a room tour setup tour something like that and uh, you know i do have a couple more turning minecraft into terrary videos uh, i got like another mod to check out and then maybe another resource pack so yeah i'll, 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 I'll see you guys next time look at the look at the sunset that's so beautiful